I, I loved Anjali Advani's talk. It also reinforced the point that immunophenotype may be insufficient uh, as a tool for diagnosing early T precursor ALL, meaning we need to think very critically about the molecular background on which this is occurring. Uh, that's number one. Not to say that immunophenotype has no role, but uh, perhaps it can help us narrow down our population of interest. But we had done a study looking at early T precursor ALL with uh, the University of Alabama and with Emory. And one of the things that was very interesting is that that phenotype was not always a uniform event, meaning we had sequencing data to, to follow up with, with some of these patients. And we could show that even when, for example, we might see uh, CD4 expression, uh, even sometimes in, in, in concert with CD8 expression, they still had that uh, genetic sequencing, um, that next generation sequencing panel that was more consistent with an early T precursor. And more importantly, clinically, they behaved like an early T precursor, meaning with a tendency to be resistant to therapy uh, and, and to show poor overall survival in, in the end. And so I think that the moving the molecular biology uh, into the diagnostic space as we did with cytogenetics a long time ago is going to be very important as we move forward.